I'm Tatum Skipper and welcome to Real Florida Magazine. Welcome back here today on the beautiful campus of Florida Panhandle Technical College. Another in our series of Meet the Candidates. This our first one post primary election. With us today is Trey Hawkins. Uh, last night won the bid for the Republican position as your candidate for uh, Washington County Commissioner District 3. When we come back we're going to talk to Trey about politics. We're going to talk a little bit about Washington County, maybe a little bit about the region, uh, talk a little bit about the results that we saw last night. At the end of the day, we saw less than 50% participation. Uh, many, many people not exercising their constitutional right and privilege to vote. That just simply crosses them off the list of anybody who can complain going forward. But hopefully through the efforts of this show, you're going to become a more educated, informed voter. And when we get ready to do, to do our general election, which is um, just a couple of short months away, November 8th, you'll make the right choices for the right persons for the right reasons. We'll be right back. Welcome back. As mentioned, our guest today is Trey Hawkins. Congratulations. Oh, I appreciate it. And it was a exciting night last night here in Washington County. We, we, uh, I, uh, humbled is humble is not the word to use. I don't know whether expected to be more, more uh, uh, readily used than that. But it was just a great turnout. I, my my friends, families, and supporters come out and and voted uh, voted strong and. And uh, we, I ran against two great candidates, uh, and they, they ran clean campaigns. We all ran clean campaigns, and I, and I look forward to meeting with them and 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 letting them know that their ideas did not go on deaf ears. We'll we'll move forward, and and I hope we can turn turn Washington County into something we can uh, be proud of, and a, a county that we can move forward with positive growth. You had you were in one of the largest uh, fields of candidates with that District 3 Washington County race. Uh, you had four uh, re Republicans starting mm -hmm. out. You had one drop out early on. Yes, sir. Um, and then we saw the results of the Democrat uh, primary last night. So you go up against uh, uh, Eddie, Dick, uh, Eddie Brock yeah. uh, in the uh, general in a couple of months. Let's talk a little bit about the entire region. We saw uh, lots of highly contested races. We saw sometimes the gloves come off and a little bit of mudslinging. Yeah. We saw a little bit of negative campaigning. First of all, in addition to congratulations on your win, congratulations on running a clean race, uh, simply putting out the positive information. I don't think you could go very many places over the last year and not see you see you heavily involved, whether it was a church environment, a festival, a parade, uh, a high school activity. What are your thoughts? Um, you know, because in some cases we had some results last night based on the efforts of negative campaigning. What are your thoughts about uh, that whole thing? Paul, one thing we'll do throughout the general, we uh, we will run a clean campaign. I believe that if you run on what you're going to do, not what others have done, that that the, uh, that that voice is heard throughout the community. Don't uh, if you if you're just running on someone's negative attributes, then you're leaving a lot of positive attributes of yourself out. Uh, I believe that that the county has spoken. The county is ready to move forward in a positive way. They they are excited. The people that I spoke with last night are truly excited. Now the now the shoes on now now the burdens on me to put my money where my mouth is and and, and do what I promised the community. And I can promise you now that you will never have a county commissioner that will work any harder to uh, to uh, fulfill his promises. I can see this county growing with economic growth with just by a few simple steps. I'm looking forward to working with our municipalities, our local governments. Uh, I, I, I want to see one of the first things that we do uh, is, is have a meeting. Something that I've talked to municipalities for and I've been on it. I've been on that side of the shoe, Paul, where most of your county commissioners have never said in a municipality government where they they, they, a lot of times you feel your voice isn't heard, uh, and and what way I feel about business in general is that if you if you got six municipalities and the county government that's pulling different directions, but we're all working for the same goal. Let's get together and have a workshop, have all invite all of our municipalities, our school board, uh, and let them let us all sit down in one group and one room and come uh, come together as a, a collective body and move Washington County in the way that we need it for our, our and our citizens deserve that. Um, our, our citizens deserve so much more than what they've been getting, and, and I'm not saying that any any certain group's done a bad job, but I just don't think they've ever had a person that that is willing to stick the olive branch out and say let's let's move Washington County together forward, and and that's what I'm excited about. 
and uh, looking forward to it. Well, we're assured of having two brand new county commissioners. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, Charles Brock was not running this time, so there was an opening there. That's the seat for which you're running. Uh, Alan Bush uh, was the victor. He was the incumbent uh, in District 1, yeah. so he'll return. Uh, Lynn Gothard, uh, the incumbent in District 5 position, was uh, was defeated in the Republican uh, Party uh, uh, election by Steve Joyner. So Steve will face... Um, uh, James Guy and um, John Harmon. So that'll be a three-way race for District 5. We've got a brand new sheriff uh, who will take office on the first of the year. Uh, in, in the races, I congratulate the victors and, and my condolences were with the, with the ones that come up short. Uh, we just had a good group of people to choose from here in Washington County. Uh, there, there's uh, not a, you know, uh, it, by by running for office, I, you get to meet them. You really get to see the inner works of the people and get really to meet the, the true person. And I can honestly say we had a great group of uh, candidates to choose from. Uh, there was not many bad choices out there. Uh, and, uh, and I'm glad the voters spoke. I wish we had a little higher turnout. But, uh, but I can truly say that, that I am humbled with a 70% margin of victory. And, and that... that, uh, that uh, that just it, it just speaks volumes of the people that I associate myself with, and uh, the people that that really have uh, the, the message has been conveyed, and and I and I, I'm excited about moving forward on the message that we that we put forward to the people. Most races were overwhelmingly in favor of the winner. Uh, one race that is going to actually have a um, a runoff will be the. Um, School board, uh, District, two. District 2, Lou Cleveland and Travis Mask, mm -hmm. neither got 50% plus one vote, so they're going to run off in that general election. So for them, it's not over yet. No, uh, no. They've got another two months to go. It looks like, just as an outsider, looking at, at the folks that uh, potentially will be in those positions, that we've got the opportunity, probably for the first time in a while, for especially on the county commission level, to really have some people who can work together, who uh, believe in teamwork, who are business people first and foremost, who don't uh, think that they can spend more money than they bring in, and who maybe for the first time will be able to get a handle on budget and debt, and more importantly, economic development going forward. Absolutely. Now, I will take my hat off to the outgoing commission, uh, uh, or, or the ones that stay in the, the, the current commissions there. They've done a great job in paying our debt now uh, that that's something that uh, that we had to have happen uh, county and debt that uh, you cannot be successful you know if you've got a burden of debt line above you but I, I, I agree we have a gr good group that that no matter what happens in this the, this general that that uh, we have candidates that that I believe that can carry on and, and move the county in the in the direction that uh, uh, that we needed to go. Of course, I'm prejudiced to that District 3 <coughs> race. We got a really good candidate there that we can move the county forward in, but, but that's just my prejudice. But, uh, but uh, we, can, uh, we, can, uh, we can definitely take, take our differences and set them at the door and come into the, uh, to the board meeting and, and work in a, a way that, in a manner that we can move Washington County in the way that our constituents deserve. As I started off by saying, you had eight candidates originally mm -hmm. in that race for District 3. Holmes County, Jackson County both had a couple of races of almost that same size. To what do you attribute the reason that we have so many of these candidates, many times coming out for a political position for the very first time? In your case, you had run for this position before, had showed very well, and I think everybody figured you'd show the way you yeah. did. But in many cases, political neophytes coming out and some of these races that don't pay a whole, or some of these positions don't pay a whole lot of money, you're a successful businessman. You have a debt-free business, had for, had for many years. And yet you want to take on a, a, a low paid job. It's got to be a service mentality. It's got to be a, 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 an opportunity for you to, to work with that public. Paul Mitt Romney said something one time, and I won't quote Mitt Romney many times, but he said one time before that if you're ever running for a political office to pay your mortgage, then you're running for the wrong reason. And that's the exact truth. Uh, uh, if you're running for this office to, to pay your mortgage, then, then you, you're, you're in bad shape because, because then you're going to be tied to the decisions that you make. That's, you're going to make it skewed upon whatever the popular choice is, not necessarily the right choice. And, uh, and, and that, that statement carries truth. So if going forward, that I, with your question, that I believe that people are ready for change. I really think that, that they understand the, the, the nuances of government, that, that, uh, that there is, there's change 
changes to be made in these areas that that you can that you can come together as a group and, and you can make positive changes where the community will grow, economic growth will thrive. Then in turn, that you'll you'll have your children and your grandchildren have a place where they can be successful here at the house. And that's my goal. I do not want to see a child leave here to find a job. If, if we can't, we can employ them here in Washington County. We can train them here at, at, at uh, the college. And, and put a viable product out for Washington County with, with job growth and, and there's so many areas. I beat a dead horse to death about the utilities expansions, but that is so important for our economic growth and economic viability of Washington County and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited. The hottest part of the year is past uh, the, the hottest part of the campaign season, uh, Wausau Possum Festival, Watermelon Festival, Fourth of July. I mean, the, the, the trifecta of misery yes, sir. Uh, on that hot pavement, on these parades, and then spending hours and hours shaking hands, kissing babies, all part of the political process. We've got a bunch of events still to between now and Election Day, but many of those are the cooler uh, fall, yeah. fall events, fall festivals and that sort of thing. And they're also a little bit more intimate. They're smaller yeah. events. Uh, again, like I say, the fall festivals at the high schools and the middle schools and the elementary schools. I imagine that that's a little bit more enjoyable uh, part of the campaign to look forward to. Paul, uh, truthfully, the, uh, the three events you just mentioned were hot. They were extremely, the weather was, uh, was, was extremely hot. But getting out to having a chance to meet the constituents of Washington County, the ones that you don't know. I know so many people in Washington County, but there's so many that I don't know. And when, you, when you're just sitting there having a one-on-one -on -one conversation or you have a group, a small group, that you're being able to convey your message and answer questions they have. And there's so many times they ask questions that are so relevant to the situation what's going on in Washington County. And sometimes the relevancy of the question is something that you've never thought of. And, and it, it just... It dispairs you to move forward and, 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 and dig deeper and find out the true meaning of this job of a public servant. And that's something that we've got to remember as county commissioner, school board member, sheriff, or whatever you ran for, you're a public servant. You answer to them people. You, you're making choices. You're their voice in government. And again, I'm excited. I'm, Lord, I, I know that I'm excited about the, the future of Washington County. I'm excited that, that our children will, will we've got, we, we're going to make a change. We're going to make Washington County grow. We're going to work as a, as a unified body. Uh, this backbiting and, and, and personal, we, we don't leave that at the door. I'm, I'm excited. I know that, that uh, the, the commission and I, I think that they're just looking for someone to, to come in and calm the storm, and I'm hoping I'm that body. We always like to think that there's a voice of reason, mm -hmm. and what's stronger than that is that collective voice of reason. When you have the majority of a board, in this case the County Commission, mm -hmm. being able to come together, work as a team, I know uh, there were very few candidates that had larger no groups of supporters than you did in some of these parades. I think some of you had over 100 people. Oh, yeah. I know your family and friends probably worn out by now. Are they ready to go for the next two months? Oh, they, they, they're biting in the bit. Last night was uh, uh, the shot and arm that we needed. You know, uh, uh, you get, you, sometimes you get down and, and, and not necessarily, you, you never, I, I've never ever felt that, that we were out of anything by any means, but you just, every now and then you just need something to, kind of kicking the pants and and last night was it whenever Washington County showed up and and put their support behind me like they did last night uh, it was just the, what I needed to, to get out and and, and uh, show them that they've, they've made the right choice and uh, we're gonna continue this momentum through the general and uh, we're gonna go in strong and and uh, uh, we're going to uh, like I said we're going to put Washington County on the map of economic growth and tranquility you know I just I know it well, as you well know, because you participated, uh, the Chipley Kiwanis Club held mm -hmm. a series of political forums uh, every Tuesday for about 10 or 11 weeks uh, with all of those candidate races. The Republican Party of Washington County also did the same at the Vance yeah. Theater. Uh, we were fortunate enough to be involved in some of those. We are going forward. We're already scheduling some of those uh, debates. Would it be fair to assume that you'll be willing to participate? That's my, that, that's my favorite thing to do in this, in this, because it gives the people a chance to see the difference. And not saying that there's... Uh, that there's a bad choice or, or, or a good choice, but there's a difference. Uh, uh, I, I love the, the fact of the debates where you get to, you get to go back and forth one-on-one, -on -one, and not, not in a mean fashion, but in, in a fashion where you're showing there's a difference of, of ideas and, and, and giving Washington County a true choice. I beg uh, that, uh, that if, if you hear there's a debate going uh, as, as a constituent, 
please come and join in and ask the tough questions. Ask the questions that really concern you because be educated in your vote. Uh, don't vote for someone because their name or, 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 or what you've heard. And, uh, and, that, and saying that may hurt me because some people do vote, on, vote for me just because of the name recognition. But, but please come out and, and, and be informed. Uh, so when someone asks you about it, you can answer that question in, in a way that, that, that's educated. And um, I truly believe if, if, if we get out and inform ourselves that, that, uh, that uh, at the end of the day we're going to be fine. You hope that after the election process is over, and as much divisiveness, as, as, as much competition, and sometimes just friendly competition, yeah. sometimes not so friendly, that after that's over, we can come back together as a community and be stronger than what we started off. I know there's sometimes there's some hurt feelings. Yeah. Sometimes oh, yeah. uh, there's a little bit of lack of confidence. People thought they had more support maybe than they ended up having. But at the end of the day, we are a very strong, giving community, and we'd hope that this process helps to strengthen rather than tear that apart. Oh, absolutely. Hey, I come on the short side of it last time. 40-something votes, that, that's a tough that's a tough pill to swallow but uh but a guy asked me last last year four years ago that he after the, after the uh, election he said well, what you gonna do I said, well, I'm going to do the same thing I've done for the last four years. So for, for, the, for the last time before I ever decided to run for the office, I'll continue to be involved in my community, help any way I can, answer any questions that I have, and, and still, if a person needs a voice, I'll, I'll stand for them. But this time, uh, we're expecting different results. Uh, uh, we're going in strong, and, and we're, uh, we're, going, we're going to continue the momentum. But uh, I'm willing to... Uh, to uh, be a, a, as much or as little a part of this community as Washington County needs me to be, and I hope they choose me to be a vital voice for them and, and continue to move Washington County in the direction that, that the constituents want Washington County to move. We decided going into this next segment of Meet the Candidate forums or Meet the Candidate interviews in the case of this show, one thing we want to discuss and one thing that we'd like for the new county commission to embrace would be some sort of self-imposed time restraints or constraints on the election process. You know, the city of Chipley only allows uh, political signs to be put up within a window of, of, of opportunity when they have their elections and referendums and so forth. Yeah. Would you, as a sitting county commissioner, when you're elected, be willing to support such a, uh, a movement where we wouldn't have these political signs up for the long duration and I, I, I think at the end of the day people kind of get turned off by that. Uh. I, I I agree uh, that uh, that the political signs uh, we do have an issue. I, we have ordinances in place that where the state has ordinances in place that you don't allow sign uh, you, uh, political signs on on uh, state right of ways. Something we need to enforce stronger as a county. It gets in the way of our mowers. Uh, it gets in the way of us doing business as a county. Uh, I will never infringe on private property rights. So uh, you, you pay property tax on that property that that's yours. You know. Uh, uh, you can do as, it, as you will with your property, and that's something. But as far as state right of ways and county right of ways, I think we definitely need to put teeth to that ordinance, where it may be a fine or, or something where we can keep people from doing that. And a lot of times, now, it ain't the candidate. Uh, a lot of times, now most, sometimes it is, and please don't, please don't take me as being the devil's advocate here, but uh, we do have supporters, and we have, most of your candidates have some strong supporters that, that, that looking for the competitive edge, and, and, and we appreciate them. But sometimes they're a little overzealous, and they will stick a sign out in places where it, not, it needs not be. So education, education to the, to the candidate, education to their supporters, and, and, and some teeth to our current ordinance, I believe, that uh, that we, we could we could handle a situation because I'm a firm believer that <laughs> this is going to sound funny, but if, if we put one ordinance or law on the books in Washington, we should have to take two off. We don't need no more laws and, and ordinances. So I, I'm looking to I'm looking to uh, uh, work together with our fellow commissioners and and, and, uh, and, move, and like I said, and, and make the ordinances that we have viable. And one final question about signage, and this is something we're asking all of the candidates in this go around. Would you be willing to commit to getting all of your signs down following the general election within a reasonable period of time? Absolutely, because I plan on this being a being a, a, a long time event, be, me being your county commissioner, uh, and uh, them signs cost money, and running on uh, economic uh, uh, viability and and, and 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 a good conservative background, uh, there's about five six thousand dollars worth of signs out on the side of the road. So I plan on trying to get everyone on my possible can back. 
Uh, some of them are, 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 are not there to get back at the end of the day, but that's, that's, that's just the politics here in, in Fall County. But uh, I hope that everyone cleans, does their part, cleans the right of ways up, uh, gets, gets them out of the way. If, if they come up short this, this uh, primary, I hope they're responsible enough to get them, get them up, picked up and, and, and store them properly. Where if, so if they decide to come on back in four years and let, let the county have another uh, choice, that they, they'll have their signs. But, but at the end of the day, it, it's our responsibility to get them up. And, and uh, being a steward of the county, I, I expect all of, our, all of our setting commissioners and all of, our, all of our people that run for political office to get their signs up. There's nothing worse than being out on a country road, beautiful pastoral right. setting, driving along, and all of a sudden you see a sign from eight years ago that's oh, yeah. still sitting there, weather beaten. Thank you for taking the time. I know that you're extremely busy, probably busier than you've been up to this point, <laughs> because now, as you point out, you're entering a new phase yes. of your campaign, uh, stronger than ever, and now you have to engage the entire county, not just the Republicans. Yes, so best of luck going forward. Thank you, Paul. Congratulations on your uh, strikingly overwhelming win last night. Uh, I don't know that there were a lot of people that uh, uh, were surprised by that but at the end of the day you can't take anything no, no, for sir. granted as a as a um, as a candidate is there anything else that you would uh, added for our viewers before we leave no just overwhelmingly thank you uh, to say the least that that uh, what y'all did last night I, I appreciate it and like I said uh, my number Paul Paul listed on the on, on the screen uh, uh, will call me if you need signed shirts, uh, or if you just want to sit down and talk, I'd love to sit down and talk with you in a small group, an intimate setting. And so you can really ask me the questions that you need answered. And, and like I said, we can move forward as an educated voter. And I appreciate your support, and thank you again. Says it all. Our guest today has been Trey Hawkins. Uh, just recently, yesterday, as a matter of fact, depending on when you're watching this video, uh, uh, hands down won the primary election as the Republican candidate for Washington County Commissioner District 3. Uh, on November 8th, you'll have that opportunity to make your choice between Trey and his opponent. Um, the next couple of months should be very interesting. We are uh, giving an open invitation to all of those candidates who will be on that uh, ballot uh, come November 8th to join with us again in our studio here for another in our series of meet the candidates hopefully at the end of the exercise your opportunity to be a more informed educated voter making the right choice when you go into that ballot box on November 8th we'll be right back